today I have a new video for you on some of the new ColourPop items. I picked up one of the new strobing kits as well as three of their new liquid lipsticks. I know that they had released, I think it was like eight or ten liquid lipsticks, but some of the colors were like blues and purples and greens and it's just not something that I normally wear so I figured I would skip on them. Maybe I'll pick them up at a later date but I think that they are limited edition but I wanted to pick up the three sort of regular shades that I have here. I've tested out the ColourPop liquid lipsticks and I do have a video on all 25 of their original shades which I will link in the description bar below but I wanted to pick up the other three and I also wanted to pick up one of the strobing kits because I love their lippy pencils and highlighters so much that I figured why wouldn't I just pick up one of the kits and test it out. I picked up the one in fair to medium. I was interested to get the one that's like medium to deep as well but I had I think one of the highlighters already and there are duplicates in each kit. There are two in here that are in the other kit so overall I had three of the shades so I figured it was kind of just pointless for me to pick up one of the kits just to get three of the shades but I don't know maybe I'll pick it up eventually but for now I just picked up this one. These are three of the neutral shades that were released in the sort of 8 to 10 shades that they released recently. I think that the ColourPop liquid lipsticks are relatively inexpensive. They're only $6 each, so I think that's really nice, especially if you want to try the new trend of liquid lipsticks. I think that the packaging is still an issue with these. One of them was leaking as I got it out of the package, and as I opened it, you could see a lot of the sort of product pooled at the top. The other two were fine, so I don't know if they've updated some of the packaging or not. I still find it relatively annoying, but I do really still enjoy ColourPop, and I do obviously like the liquid lipsticks or else I probably would not purchase these. I do think that they have updated the formula a little bit when I tried these on my hand for swatches as well as on my lips. I felt like they were a really nice texture. Some of the other liquid lipsticks from ColourPop can be a little bit cracky or a little bit flaky as sort of they wear on throughout the day but these I felt like were a really nice texture. Some of the ColourPop liquid lipsticks are a nice texture so I think that these maybe went along the lines of the nice texture ones but I was really happy with that because I was really hoping that these would be the good texture. They pretty much all are very similar. The first one, which is this one right here, is called Clueless. This one's a little bit more pink than the other three. It's probably the lightest out of all three, but they all are very similar tones. This one has a lot more pink undertone. It's quite warm. The next one I have is Beeper, which is almost like the bronzy or slightly red slash orange undertone than Clueless. They are very similar tones, especially in the bottle, but it's just like this one is the bronzy version and this one is the pink version and then I have Kapow. Kapow looks like it's very similar to the other ones but when you put it on it definitely is a couple shades darker. It's definitely more of like a gray beige shade. It looks very similar to Beeper but it's definitely more gray than the other ones. It has more of like a gray undertone without being pink or really red at all. Overall the strobing kit is really nice. I think that they are one of the first companies to sort of go with the strobing trend. I know that a lot of people are either into the strobing trend or not into the strobing trend just depending. I already love highlighting and I love shimmer on the top of my cheekbones so I already love strobing and I think that this kit is really nice. It's nothing that is sort of I would say overly unique in the sense of making strobing something new but it's pretty much just pairing lipsticks and highlighters together. I thought that the aspect of pairing the lipsticks and the highlighters together was unique because mostly strobing is just considered sort of like the highlighting trend so I think it was nice that they paired them together. I'm not really sure how strobing is supposed to be considered with any of these lippy sticks, but I really do enjoy all the colors that it came with. You're supposed to technically have two highlighters and sort of one blush. This is definitely a deeper tone, so I would probably wear it as a blush, although most of the time I do like to wear a blush that is a little bit more matte, but I think that this could be a really nice blush topper as well. So the first one you have here is called Fanny Pack. Fanny Pack is pretty much just a strict silver shimmer. It's quite quite light. It has that white silver pearlescent to it, but it's a really pretty color and I think it would flatter a lot of fair tone girls because I know a lot of girls who are fair tone have maybe some issues with some of the more golden champagne highlighters because they can kind of look funny on their skin tones. This is a really pretty strictly white silver pearlescent shimmery highlight. The next one is called Parasol. This is more of like a gold tone highlighter. It kind of reminds me of Laura Geller Gilded Honey, but a little bit different tone, but it has that gold golden tone to it. So 
someone like my skin tone who's not like incredibly fair or someone who's a little bit more of like a medium olive skin tone I think that this would be really pretty and then you have nonfiction which is supposed to be that sort of blush topper it has like a almost like a bronzy red terracotta color to it so I think that it would be really pretty on sort of olive skin tone and I think for someone who is like myself a little bit more fair it would be really pretty to top your blushes with and then as I said there are three lippy shades you have the first one which is the lightest one it's called fame it's a sheer cream color this is like a pink undertone of nude it is quite light so definitely someone who has more of like a medium skin tone this might look a little bit concealer lips on you but I think that is a really pretty color it's not overly light and it has a really pretty pink undertone to make it a little bit more wearable the next one is called thistle thistle is a cream formula it's actually the one that I'm wearing today it's more of like a mid-tone nude it almost has slight orange or terracotta color to it without being overly deep it is still quite nude as you can see in my lips but it sort of helps bring the color and life back into my face while still being a nude next one is called marmalade marmalade is like that popular dusty mauve shade and it almost has like slightly berry undertones to it so if you feel like you can't really pull off the deeper mauve tones you definitely can go for something like this marmalade shade because it has slight berry undertones to it overall I'm really happy I picked up this strobing kit I really enjoy the colors it has I really already enjoy all the color pops highlighters they have that same sort of bouncy cream texture that the rest of their powder products have and I just feel like they give you a really pretty glow they're definitely more of like a brighter highlight so if you're looking for something a little bit natural I probably would not recommend some of these color pop highlighters I think that they're a really nice product and a really nice consistency and I already love their lippy sticks I think that they're really nice quality they smell really good they have like a vanilla scent to them they go on really nicely they feel nice they're really hydrating they're really pigmented and I just really enjoy the lippy sticks so I think that overall this kit is really nice I am interested to pick up the second one but I'm kind of trying not to justify it because I do have three of the shades that are going to be in that kit I hope that maybe they'll release some of these as individual shades because the colors are really nice and as I said I have all of the other 25 shades of the liquid lipsticks by Colourpop I do have some issues with the packaging and some of the texture on a few of the other ones are a little bit flaky but overall I think that they are really nice I think they go on really nicely the color selection is really nice and I was happy that they came out with some nude shades because I do really love any kind of nude liquid lipstick if you have tried any of the new Colourpop items definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below and make sure you subscribe so you can see all my upcoming videos thanks so much for watching and stay tuned